I think Christians in general, more broadly, are bad at the culture. Meaning when you see a Christian movie or a song, it's mostly just, it's not very good. It, it's just the truth. They're just, because, and I think even today in Hollywood, mainstream Hollywood's going the same way where the message is, is the focus instead mm-hmm. of the story and the message being in that story. Um, like I think especially now with a lot of the Marvel movies, it's, it's agenda first and story second. And then those movies are bombing. Yes. Um, there was a movie my wife had us watch when we were dating. I don't remember what it was, but it was about a football, this town. It was this feel good Christian story. And man, it was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. It was so <laughs> bad. I, I said, babe, you can't pick another movie. This is just bad. <laughs> um, but like now there are like the Daily Wire is making culture that's good. Or Angel Studios. They just came out with yes. this movie Cab- Cab- Cabrini. Cabrini. Yeah. yeah. That looks super interesting and good. I, I saw it. Okay. I loved it. Is it good? I liked it a lot. Yeah. yeah. It was filmed so yeah. beautifully. We, I've watched like ninety percent of the uh the Duck Dynasty movie that came out. That was even pretty oh, well, well done. They, I've not I didn't even know they had a movie. I, I, did, I, I did, loved it. It's yeah. about yeah. Bill Robertson and his story because he was like a degenerate in his marriage for a little bit. Was it like the blind or yes, something like the that? Blind. Yeah. yeah, my mom my parents said they told me I need to watch it. Huh, right and now. the other thing and, and I'm gonna steal this from Clavin and the guy at the Daily Wire that they also talk about with the culture is we gotta show what real life is. Like I think too much of some of those Christian movies it shows like life is picture perfect and the bad thing happens at the beginning, but in the end, if you believe in God and Jesus, then you're going to be okay. And right. like, sorry, but that doesn't always happen. And yeah. people die. People get maimed. People are sleeping with one another. Like we got to live in reality, but mm-hmm. still tell that message right. rather than being message first. I think that'll bring more people. Have a good, have a, have a good, well, you can actually, you can still have a good ending with, evil beginnings right like yeah you know, things can still they can start out badly but still end up well i mean the way the, the crucifixion is obviously the greatest example of that um this is something that uh a point that we've made before where uh for lack of better terminology the left is really good at just throwing crap at your face yeah and they keep on throwing at you like and it can start off as small or as big as as they want like it can be a literal piece of dust right yep. they can start by throwing a lot of dust at your face where you won't, really won't be feeling it but if they keep on throwing it, it desensitizes you to the fact that something is continually hitting your face. Yeah. And I always say that that's the Marvel films oh, where yeah. like they just throw something at your face and they keep on throwing the same thing. Like sequel after sequel after sequel after sequel after yeah. remake after remake after remake after, you know, same universe, same universe, same universe. Like all these different things, like they will just keep on throwing it back yeah. at you. And the problem is like in the culture war, you know, that is one really effective way of doing it. And I always think that the right... Um, or, you know, conservatives or Christians or, or whatever have always really just been scared of making anything bad yes. that they've really just never tried to start. And so you don't have as much volume coming from the other, from one side as you do on the other. Yeah. And so as a result of it, like, there's just not enough practice to make anything good. Like when Mike and I first started this podcast, we had zero experience doing a podcast, right? Yeah. And we made horrific episodes to start. <laughs> like, I mean, horrific discussions. Um, discussions that are still on our YouTube if you want to watch them. Yeah. Because we'll never take them down because it's really cool for us to see where we came from. Right? But if we didn't start with those horrific episodes, we never would have gotten to the point where we are yeah. now. Like, just having great quality discussions with guests and stuff yeah. like that. Because we weren't afraid to start and start with bad. Right? Yeah. The left wasn't afraid to start with bad. And believe me, they made some bad stuff. Yeah. But now they're really good at what they do, yeah. right? Well, same with, like, the Daily Wire. If those guys had never started what they did in the back of a yeah. pool house <laughs> with, like, four people, then they wouldn't be making movies. Or Angel Studios, who mm. wasn't around two years ago. They had to start somewhere. Yeah. And, and Sorry. Go, no, go the, ahead. The stuff with Angel, like, the movies that they started out with were horrendous. Like, I'm just going to throw it out there. Okay. But the stuff that they're making now is great. Sorry not I to mean, cut you off. Like, Sound of Freedom, and I have not watched that, but I want to. Like, that is not your stereotypical Christian movie. That is dark stuff, but it's trying to put a positive message on it. It's story first, and then the messaging is is in that. And think about th- these different Christian movies. Like, you have to think about who is your audience. You're not... Somebody who's completely atheist or agnostic, or like me, you know, 10 years ago, was I going to go see any of those Christian movies? No, because they just looked bad. They just looked poorly done. Mm-hmm.